So, and y'all are doing very well, and I just, you know, I have to say, and for people who don't know the story, I, I just think the fact that you can be so visible and public and not let something like what happened to you uh, stop you or try to, to uh, slow down your life in any way, I admire that about you so much, because... Thank you. Um, thank you. I think it would be so easy for something like that to cripple you and, and be scared of people and non-trusting and, and, and in, just in a nutshell, I guess, uh, explain, uh, as a reporter, you, someone was stalking you and uh, videotaping you. Right. I, I don't even understand how they were videotaping you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to understand. We found out um, this past July that a gentleman had been following me for a couple of years and actually um, taking video of me through a peephole in a hotel. Um, he had put like four to five videos of me, and then later we found out he had been stalking 16 other women, put videos of them as they were changing in their hotel room. Um, and thank goodness I had an amazing group of guys in the FBI that tracked him down. He followed me all the, over the United States. We were able to put him behind bars. Unfortunately, Good. yeah. Only for 30 months. He's going to jail for 30 months. And the worst part about that is, you know, I'm never going to get the stuff down off the internet. But, um, Dance with the Stars came to me before everything happened and said, we'd love to have you. I was kind of, you know, tentative about doing it after everything broke with the stalker, but um, I wanted to do it because I thought this would be a great platform to come and talk to you, come and be on a show where, you know, millions of people watch and just say, if you're stalked, if you're a victim of video voyeurism, you shouldn't be embarrassed. You should live your life. You're a victim. You didn't do anything to yourself. And they've been a wonderful family. I've got a, a Russian on my side now that isn't going to let anyone come near me. Evan has said he will take his blade out, his skating blade, for yeah. anyone who comes near me. So it's right. a big family. Yeah, you've got a lot of protection now. Nobody's yeah. going to ever come near you. you. You shouldn't worry about anything. And, and people that, you know, it's, it's, but it is hard to, but it's a good voice that you have to say, don't let something like that stop you from living your life.